So you're thinking about moving your family down here to the great state of Texas, and you're looking for a city that is family friendly, very affordable, and has great school districts? Well, stick around, because in this video, we're gonna give you the breakdown of Forney, Texas, one of the best cities we believe for families to move to in 2022. All right, welcome back everybody. We are here in the studio to give you all a very in-depth perspective and market report about Forney, Texas. So as we mentioned, Forney is out here to the east of Dallas, about 20 to 25 minutes. Your best path to be there will be along Highway 80 right here. Now, this will take you again about 20 to 25 minutes depending on traffic, but let's go ahead and zoom in and dive into Forney. So now, as we mentioned, the population of Forney was about 25,000, give or take. For the most part, it's still a developing city. So as we see here, this is where we started the vlog tour off here at the Spelman Museum of Forney History. Uh, very cool location, a lot going on. They had the old downtown railroad track right there. Train tracks passed right in front of it. Now, more of a zoomed out view, as I mentioned, there aren't a ton of big box stores in Forney but there are all the anchor stores that you can find in developing cities from the Lowe's Home Improvement to the Walmart to the CVS. Uh, right down the road, they have the Chipotle. I know they have a Starbucks. So they have the essentials, but isn't a ton of retail shopping if you're looking for, again, some of your James Avery, maybe some of your boutique shops that uh, I know a lot of people seek. So again, still developing out a lot of the higher end shopping, but from a necessity standpoint, it certainly has everything you need. The Walmart's gonna be right here off Highway 80 along with the other big box store like Lowe's Improvement. You're gonna see a couple different things from the different parks like the Forney Community Park right here. And zooming out, I just wanna give reference to again, you're probably about 20 minutes to Rockwall just going straight north here. Heath and, and where we ended uh, at Clements Ranch is just right here on the southeast corner of the lake. Uh, Rockwall Lake right here. So you can see again, Rockwall Lake is not far away. So if you like water sports and activities, there's a ton to do right there. The Rockwall Harbor is a great place for family. So if you're looking for a lot of the larger, more developed community activities, Rockwall is gonna be your best bet for that as, as that's still developing. So just some insight on where that is from a hospital standpoint, uh, your, your traumatic trauma centers are probably either gonna be Rockwall or straight shot to Dallas. Uh, there are some quick care centers and things like that here in Forney, but not a, a very high-end emergency medical center. So just, again, some additional insight. We hope this helps. What I want to dive into now, because I know this is one of the more uh, focused area for a lot of our families moving down here, are the schools. So just so you can see right here, these are all the different schools in the city of Forney on the north side and south side, really being divided but between Highway 80. Now, Devonshire is going to be on the north side. Clements Ranch is on the north side, just to give you some perspective. Right here, we see all the different schools. Forney actually has two different schools. They have a North Forney High School, which is going to be right here where the mouse is. And then they're going to have Forney High School, which is right here on the south side. Now, on the south side at Forney High School is where we see the new development coming from Megatel Builders, which is going to have that three to four acre crystal clear lagoon we stopped at. Not a lot to see right now, but again, just to give you reference, that's gonna be literally walking distance to the school. Now, one of the great resources I always like to refer to just to give some more perspective to it, the overall niche.com rating that, that is given to 40 is actually an A minus. So public schools are great. Housing is from affordability is, is great. In 40, you can typically find homes between about that three to 600 price points where we more commonly see homes. Now, uh, again, that can range depending on the property, but just to give y'all some perspective, this right here says the population is about 21 and, and a half thousand. I really think it's closer to 25 personally, uh, just with all the new growth there. So some definite cool things you want to check out while you're in the city of Forney and visiting just to get familiar. The Spelman Museum of uh, Forney History was a destination location that we stopped at. We didn't get to go inside of it on this vlog tour, but it's definitely something you should check out. Moving forward, of course, they have the Gentle Zoo, more of a rural city. So petting zoos are certainly something that uh, can be an entertaining factor here in Forney. Now, again, Rockwall Historical Foundation, hmm, I would probably go to the Chisholm Trail Rides. This is going to be a great opportunity to, again, kind of see what they have going on here. About 20 minutes north of Forney is where that's located. 
Uh, they always are involved in different horseback riding trails, different private trails you can go on. So again, just some different things to check out. The Devil Bowl Speedway is something pretty interesting. Let's see, it's about 15 minutes uh, west of Forney, which is in McKinney, or sorry, Mesquite, which is, let's see if we can zoom out real quick, give y'all some perspective. Mesquite is right here. I think the more desired area you'll probably be commuting a lot between is Sunnyvale. This is where the Chipotle and the Starbucks is on your way into and out of town. So again, great pit stop in Sunnyvale. Now, going back right here, just one of, some other things I wanted to highlight, the Escape Adventures, which is pretty common in some big cities, but the AIM High Bounce. So this is a, uh, again, this is an entertainment plaza here with your family from the jump houses. You see they have some turf fields over here. So just a lot of great family field activities right there. The Adventure Park is another outdoor excursion that you can check out, enjoy with the family. Again, you can kind of see just some dynamic of that. So a ton of great different things, not including the Rockwall Lake, not including the new development that's coming in called Sapphire Bay Marina, which is going to be a billion dollar plus resort that's just happening on the lake right there. You're also not too far away from the Heath Yacht and Golf Club, which again is a great opportunity to get some golf in. So right here, I want to give you all a market update before we get out of here. So the city of Forney has a tax rate of about 2.93. Just to give you some understanding, there are these things called MUDs and PIDs. A MUD is essentially um, will go off after a certain amount of time, roughly about 20, 25 years, and a PID is on there forever. So just to give you all some breakdown of what that is, these are development costs that the developer takes out because these smaller fast growing cities really can't keep up with the development so you'll see a, a little bit of a higher interest rate in these master communities in comparison to the city overall but again that's just kind of pay, paving the road uh, for the development to come in now again 20 25 years for the mud the pid will, will be there for the entirety of the home so just some insight uh, from a population standpoint, again, it's fast growing. So we're seeing these equity prices rise. Now, just to give you the most dynamic, uh, up-to-date market report, you can see right here in the past 30 days, there's been almost 400 homes that have sold in 40. Now this is for the month of May, okay? So the average list price of a home was 389,000 with the average sales price being close to 400,000. So again, ladies and gentlemen, just to give you all that most up-to-date report, homes on average are about 400,000 and 40, depending between new and new construction and pre-existing. You can probably find some at more affordable rate, closer to that 300, but of course, you know, they do go up to 450, 500, depending on the build. So ladies and gentlemen, we hope this helps out. We hope y'all enjoyed our Forney vlog tour. And if y'all do have any questions about Forney, Texas in general, make sure to reach out to our team at locatingtx.com and schedule a call with one of our professionals today so we can help you and your family make a smooth move to Texas. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, let's move Scoop Boogie.